Emotional damn it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a nollie heel. Make sure you got three tricks down. Ollie, nollies, obviously because you're popping off the nose, and then switch heels. Switch heels because you're doing a switch heel but just going the opposite direction. If you don't have any of those, that's fine. Just save this video and come back to it later when you do. Reason being is you'll feel way more comfortable trying this trick if you have those down. And we can deter you from getting frustrated and just rage quit and break your board and just throw it in a pool, leave it in the lawn, you know, because you can't get this trick. For a foot position, I recommend you set up just like this. You know, you have your foot right up on the nose. I recommend sandals, chanclas if you have any. If it just feels better, you can really grab the board, get all the dogs out. I play too much. So foot position, you're gonna wanna set up something like this. Have your front foot on the nose. Sometimes some people like to put it in the pocket right here, closest to you in this general area, but sometimes I just do it with my foot just straight in the middle. And then your back foot is gonna be right here in this general area. You know, you want like half your toes to be sticking off, but you know, some people like to scoot them in and it just depends on like how you do heel flips, how you do your switch heel flips. I know people that have their full foot on the board when they do nollie heels, they don't have their toes hanging off at all. But you know, obviously you'll play with this foot position and you'll figure out what works best for you. For me personally, I prefer putting my toes off because it just helps me distinguish that, okay, I'm indefinitely doing a heel flip motion. It kind of just primes me for that and I know what to expect right before I'm about to do it on an obstacle. Whereas like some people, if they put their whole foot on the board, there's not much to distinguish if you put your whole foot on the board for a kick flip and a heel flip, you know what I mean? So you gotta draw the line somewhere and make it work for you. If I don't get this trick in the first three tries, I change it around my foot position. Have your weight like centered on the board, lean over the board, bend your knees. You know, I say that in every trick tip that I do. So just keep that in mind. Do the nollie first, let your foot slide up, like be conscious of that, be present, and then flick off for the heel flip. Be sure that you don't rush this trick. Caught, 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 so learning this trick was very difficult for me because I would keep doing the nollie and then my foot would fly right off the board. It wouldn't even slide up the board. It's like I was doing the nollie first, but I just couldn't grip the board. My foot was too excited and I didn't allow myself to jump and come up with the board with the nollie. I would just be ready to flick immediately. You're much more so ready to flick out the heel than a nollie flip. You gotta be patient with yourself. Go outside, give me 10 tries. 10 tries, film it. Just DM me on Instagram and let me know what's going on and I'll try and get back to you today. I can't see my